Hey guys, Traveling Troy here. Well, I'm back in Austin working on my van uh, over here with my dad. Uh, and today we're working on what I'm actually sitting on. Uh, it's going to be a, we're st still working on some tweaks here, but it's a, it's a bed, couch, uh, pull out combo. Uh, that's what we're working on. But today I want to show you what we did about these, uh, about the ceiling and the walls here. Uh, we put some planks in here. So I want to show you how we did that. But first, let's break those chains. Okay, if you recall from my previous video, we just finished the installation on the ceiling and the walls. Today's video, we're going to be installing these tongue and groove uh, pine planks on the ceiling and on the walls. Here's a look at the packaging on the tongue and groove planks. We picked these up from Home Depot and we got the eight foot long boards. These boards are about three and a half inches wide and we decided we're gonna start at the fan. Uh, we didn't want it to run along the fan, we wanted it to be slightly indented into the fan, that way it fits a little more smoothly. So we cut out a little piece that fit around the fan and then we started working our way uh, to the left. So each piece was cut to fit from the front to the back of the van. And then this last piece on the left, we had to kind of trim it in order for it to fit the contour of the van. So these planks are tongue and groove planks. So they have a groove on one side and a tongue on the other side. So you place one piece down, let's say the groove side, and then the other side you have a tongue and you just fit that tongue inside the groove, fit them together. And after that, we just put a couple of screws along the beams of the, of the ceiling. So here we've installed all the planks all along the ceiling, except for the far right one, which ended up being a difficult one. And we've also drilled the holes to allow the, the wiring to come through the boards as well. Now that the ceiling panels were complete, it was time to move on to the walls. Now here we're looking at a wall. It, at the white center beam there is where we needed to come out to. And that board on the left hand side, we had to build up the insulation to match that to where we can put boards across there and allow them to fit flush. In some spots on the wall, after putting the insulation in, we're about a quarter of an inch off or an eighth of an inch off to be in, in line with the center beam. So in some spots, we put a piece of cardboard to make up that small gap. Now here's a custom board that we installed along the back wall which allows the back of the wall to be flush with the center wall. This fan might look like a basic box from the outside, but on the inside there are lots of curves we had to deal with. For instance, sometimes we had to put slits and boards to allow the board to flex and to fit up against a wall. Now that we have the insulation built up and that board on the right hand side of the screen built up to be even with the center beam, we can now put planks all the way across from the front to the back of the van in a straight line without any gaps. Here's a closer look at that board that we've got screwed in up at the front of the cargo area. Now that we've got the insulation and the boards on the right and left side built up to be even with the center beam, it was time to start putting the planks up on the wall. These planks were eight feet long and this run we have going here is just about eight feet long. We had a little piece we had to cut off, so we measured each one, cut them, tongue and grooved them, screwed them in, and they're good to go. Here's how things are shaping up, looking in from the back door. Looking pretty smooth, I'd say. So here's a look at the ceiling and the wall now finished with the plank boards. If you'll notice, in between the wall and the ceiling, there's, there's a white gap there. Well, that's actually a cable run. Uh, the lights, the back brake lights, and the reverse lights, and everything, they're running through that cable run right there. Once again, we're moving down and completing the insulation here on the bottom half of the wall. Notice that there's cardboard there again. We've already built up insulation behind that, but that cardboard piece is there to allow just that quarter of an inch to get everything even with that center beam. Our next step was to lay down vinyl flooring on top of the plywood subfloor. Now this process went so fast that I only was able to take two pictures of the whole process. Here I am laying down the final piece of the vinyl flooring. We want to get the flooring done before we started building the bed and the bed frame. 
Speaking of the new bed, we're finalizing the installation and installing some support boards for the upcoming bed frame. Thank you very much everyone for subscribing to my channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to go check me out on my website or Facebook or Instagram, there are links there. And if you want to go check out this whole build series, click on the big box that says watch the entire build series. Thanks a lot.